Hey Tag Enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we break down the latest in technology to make it easy for you to understand and implement. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of wireless network bridges. But before we get started, let's do a quick recap of our previous video. Last time, we show you how to set up a point-to-multipoint wireless network bridges to connect remote location. And we learned that, to ensure a stable connection, the bridges need to be placed within a 30 degrees angle. But what if your remote locations are at an angle greater than 30 degrees? That's where things get a bit tricky. So today, we will solve this problem with a unique back-to-back -back setup of wireless network bridges. And we have a great news for you. We are giving away free custom tag design consultation to help all our viewers with your wireless network bridges setup or any other tag project that you have in mind. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts is here to help you design the perfect solution. Now first, let's make sure everyone understands what a wireless network bridge is. Essentially, it is a device that connects two or more network segments over a wireless connection. This allows for data to be transmitted wirelessly between different locations without the need for extensive cabling. And they're incredibly useful for extending your network to remote buildings, outdoor areas, or across obstacles where cabling isn't visible. And they can be used for everything, from providing internet access to remote office to connecting security cameras on a large property. And now, let's talk about the importance of angles in wireless network bridges. Now, the angle between the bridges can affect signal strength and performance. Ideally, they should be within a 30 degrees angle of each other to ensure a strong and stable connection. If the angle exceeds 30 degrees, the signal can be weakened and leading to potential connectivity issues. So what can you do when your location exits this 30 degrees limit? So this is where the back-to-back -back setup come in handy. Now a back-to-back -back setup evolves using two pairs of wireless network bridges. That makes it four of them. Essentially, you place two bridges back-to-back -back at an intermediate point, and which allows the signal to be transmitted from the source to the destination, regardless of the angle. And this method not only bypass the angle limitation, but also extend the range of your network. It's especially useful in scenarios like connecting different buildings on a campus, linking remote areas in a large property, or even connecting different sites across a city. Since our wireless network bridges can extend the range up to 5 kilometers. All right, so now let's move on to the installation process. Here's what you need. Two pairs of wireless network bridges, one pair from the source to the intermediate point, and the second pair from the intermediate point to the final destination. And also you need mounting equipment, ethernet cables, power source, and a laptop for configuration. So now let's mount our first pair of bridges at the source and the intermediate point and ensure they're in a clear line of sight. Here we have the first bridge. Now we have the router to provide internet access. So we have an ethernet cable connected to our LAN port. And this is the PoE output port using PoE technology to provide both power and data for our wireless network bridge. This one here is the PoE port. Make sure you plug it into the right one. And here we have an extra port so you can connect to other device if needed. Look at the side. Our wireless network bridge is receiving the power and the data that it needs. And make sure you always check out the indicated light for signal strength so you can adjust the angle. Now let's face it directly to the intermediate point and go ahead to our second bridge. Doing the same thing, we are going to power it up 
to the PoE port from the PoE injector. So now it is getting the power. Next to it, we have the third bridge. Well, let's power it up first to the PoE port and to the PoE output port. So now all our bridges are getting the power. You can see this is the special mounting tool. So you can mount it up high and they don't have to be in the same angle because this one here paired with the source and this one here is paired with the final destination. And the most important part is now we have to connect them together using the ethernet cable. Plug it into the LAN port of each injector. So now the data is coming from the source to the second bridge and then transmitted it to the third bridge. So we can go over to our final destination. First, let's plug in the ethernet cable to the PoE port. Make sure it is facing directly to the third bridge to the PoE output port. So now it is getting all the data and the power it needs. And we're going to connect to a wireless network bridge. So I'm going to use a short patch cord, connect to the LAN port of the PoE injector and to our wireless SS point. And this SS point is powered up by PoE as well. So this cable is connected to a PoE injector. Now let's look at the side. We can see the indicated lights of both devices are on. So all we need to do is wait for it to get the channel. As you can see, it has full bars. That means we are getting the perfect signal. So the whole process is done. At the end, we are going to look at our phone. But before you do that, you should use your laptop to access to the bridges configuration interface, set up the network setting as needed. So finally, we are going to test the connection. So let's turn on the Wi-Fi. This one here is our wireless, whoops. This one here is our wireless access point and it is connected. Let's go on to our website to see if we can get internet access. Here we go. We have no problem accessing to the internet using the back-to-back -back wireless network bridge setup. Now, if you run into any issues, you can check the alignment and configuration settings. And before we wrap up, here are some expert tips to optimize your back-to-back -back wireless bridge setup. Use high-quality equipment, so you should invest in good-quality bridges and Ethernet cable to ensure reliable performance. Regular maintenance, periodically check the alignment and the firmware updates, and minimize obstruction, ensure that there are minimal physical obstruction between the bridges, and ensure a clear line of sight. And here are some common mistakes to avoid. Misalignment can drastically affect performance, so double check your angles and keep your devices updated to benefit from the latest improvement and security fixes. Neglecting environmental factors like weather and physical barrier can impact the performance, so plan your installation accordingly. So that's a wrap on today's video. We hope you find this guide on back-to-back -back setup of wireless network bridges helpful. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorial and reviews now thank you very much for watching fast cabling and i'll see you in the next video